Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, and today I'm going to be speaking to you about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Let's read Exodus chapter 21, verses 23 to 25. If there is harm, then you shall pay life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, and stripe for stripe. In no way does this Bible verse speak about revenge, but it is written for reconciliation. The idea of this Bible passage is to make things even for the purpose of reconciliation, not vengeance. We have other examples in the Word of God, Exodus chapter 21, verse 26 to 27. When a man strikes the eye of his slave, male or female, and destroys it, he shall let the slave go free because of his eye. If he knocks out the tooth of his slave, male or female, he shall let the slave go free because of his tooth. This is in order to make things even. The offender is not really to lose his eye, but to lose his servant and make things even, reconciliation. Sometimes we often see in the Bible also compensation involved. This example is also given in the context for an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Exodus chapter 21, verses 33 to 34. When a man opens a pit, or when a man digs a pit, and does not cover it, and an ox or donkey falls in it. The owner of the pit shall make restoration. He shall give money to its owner, and the dead beast shall be his. So we can see that the concept of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is in the word of God for reconciliation, not for vengeance. Let's have a look at Exodus 21, verses 23 to 25 to further understand this. But if there is harm, then you shall pay life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, and stripe for stripe. In English and other languages, the word for could mean vengeance or have a total different meaning than it does in the original Hebrew. The word in Hebrew is the word tachat, and tachat is spelled in English T-A-C-H-A-T, and the word means under, beneath, below, instead of, at the feet of, down, in place of. Do these words carry the sense of revenge? Or perhaps it's a humbling and sense of humility. It is more about responsibility and doing what is right when something has gone terribly wrong. Most actual claims in the Word of God, except those requiring capital punishment, were settled by payments in goods. So we can see that an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is an idiom, a parable. Yeshua spoke in parables. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth is not a statement. However, that is exactly what the Pharisees did. They used it for daily abuse and vengeance. And they took the concept of the Word of God and the context out. This is why we always say in our ministry not to follow the rabbis, but to follow only the written Word of God, only Jesus Yeshua. Yeshua is the Word. John chapter 1 verse 14, and the word became flesh and walked among us and dwelt among us and tabernacled among us, the Hebrew says. We follow only Yeshua HaMashiach. We do not follow the rabbis. So we can see that the Pharisees took something that was meant for the courts to settle and turned it into a daily vengeance. The concept is simply to make things even for the purpose of reconciliation, not vengeance. Yeshua, Jesus, had to deal with this issue of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Matthew chapter 5, verse 38 to 42. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Often this Bible verse is misunderstood and is used for revenge instead of reconciliation. Yeshua was teaching here against the false doctrines and the teachings of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Yeshua specifically said, you have heard it said. He did not say it is written. If Yeshua would have said it is written in a literal way, then he would be teaching against the word of God which would not be possible because Yeshua is the Word of God. And that is the context in the book of Matthew 
when he's telling the Pharisees, you have heard it said, because they were changing what was written in the Word of God. And the Bible is clear in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 2. Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it. There is a big difference between the Word of God and the teachings about the Word of God. So what Yeshua is doing here in the book of Matthew is he's giving us the correct interpretation. Yeshua was challenging the teaching on the Exodus passage and not the actual passage. He was giving us the correct interpretation. We must always check what we're being taught by man against God's Word and always look at the Word of God in the correct context. Yeshua calls us to humble ourselves and to forgive. Which requires more love? Forgiveness. Something else I want to bring out regarding the comment that Yeshua speaks about turning the other cheek. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. The concept of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, it's speaking here about permanent consequences related to the victim. Whether that's losing an eye or having scars from burns, a slap on the cheek causes no permanent consequences. And it is not to be included in the context of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. What Yeshua was basically saying is, get over it, as there is nothing here to reconcile. Forgive, love, and humble yourself. However, it's very important to bring out that there are circumstances in which threat of real permanent damage could occur to us or our family. Such situations we must protect and defend ourselves. It is very important to realize that the Word of God is love and reconciliation, not retribution and revenge. I pray that you've been blessed by this teaching. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zef Porat, sending you blessings from Israel in the mighty name of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the Great I Am, Aye Yehuda, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, Jesus Yeshua, Amen. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Yeshua, Jesus, is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.